Hello and welcome to the tutorial that works with the fonts in design space for the Cricut users. It is the best uh, geared towards the PC and the laptop window operating system users. So without any further ado, let's visit a couple of websites where we can grab free fonts. The first website we're going to visit is the most popular, it's dafont.com. I'm already there. And uh, I want to see what scripts they have available for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a word. It doesn't matter what word. So I'm just going to do hello. And I'm going to set it to give me about 100 fonts. Um, and you can specify whether you want to see it by popularity. Newest, but popularity is probably the best. The medium size is a good point of reference. I'm going to submit. And I'm going to scroll through and see if I like the look of any of the fonts. Um, as you can see that some of them are very funky and some are pretty good. I like the DK Lemon Yellow Sun. So I'm going to click on a download button right here. And it automatically goes into my download folder. I'm going to keep on scrolling and see whether or not I'm going to grab anything else. The Wild Sands looks pretty interesting. But for now, I'm going to skip it. Luna looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and download that one just by clicking download button. And I'm going to scroll and scroll and scroll. And garden grown up USB looks pretty good as well. So I'm going to grab that one as well. And so here are all of my three fonts are downloaded. Now we're going to go out to the download folder. The way you can get out to it is by right click on your start button and go to File Explorer. I'm going to click on a download button. And there you can see all of my downloaded folders. At this point, you have a couple of choices. One choice is that you can unzip every single one of these folders manually. Um, or if you have a software that allows you to unzip several folders all at once, you should definitely use that software. So I do have a free software that I use it, and I believe it's called Zip. Um, maybe it's an unzip. Yeah, it's an unzipper file manager. Um, it's a free desktop application, and I highly recommend it. Works great. So I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to um, refresh in here because it's looking at some of the old stuff. I'm going to sort it out by the modified just so that I'm able to see the three folders that I downloaded today. Um, because I want to demonstrate the two different ways of how you can unzip your folders, I'm going to only grab two of these folders. So I'm just going to highlight them. And I'm going to click on Extract. I always download everything back to my download folder. And I'm just going to keep this path. But you can modify here. And if you have a specific folder just for the fonts, then you could just easily modify the directory and send your unzipped um, files to that directory. So I'm going to click on OK. And there it goes. It unzipped it for me. I'm going to close this. Now, I had unloaded the Garden Ground and the Luna, but I did not unload the DK Lemon one. I want to show you how you can unzip a single file. All you do is just right click and you go to Extract All. And again, it's going to ask you uh, where you want to save it to. I save everything straight to back to the download as my starting point. So I'm not going to be changing my path, but if you are going to have a specific folder, then you can definitely change the path by browsing and drilling down to where your files lived. So I'm going to extract. And there we have it. All three of the folders are unzipped. At this point, I'm going to get rid of the zipped files because I don't need them. And for the simplicity's sake, what I'm going to do Instead of going to every single one of this folder one by one, 
Instead, I'm going to come up here to my search button and I'm going to look for files with an extension ending TTF or OTF. Those are the two extensions that you will have. Here's our TTF for Luna. So I'm going to double click on it. And from here, I'm just going to click on install. Okay. Now I can see that it's gotten installed because the install button desert out. I'm going to close this out. And now I'm going to look for the OTF. And there is the two remaining ones. The type, the font type always ends up in a two extension files, either by .ttf or .otf. And instead of working with every single one individual folder, it's easier to simply search it by the extension and see all of the options at once. I'm going to show you that now that we have both of these files available to us, you can select both of them, right click, and just go to install. And instead of working with an individual file one by one, you have an opportunity to install all of them at once. Now, at this point, you have a couple of options. Um, now that you have installed it, this file, and it is a part of your system, folder, you can delete it if you like. I don't delete it. I save all of the files in its own separate font folder that I keep on my Google Drive. The reason I do that is because I utilize applications other than design space. And not all of them read from the system file as design space does. And so it's important for me to be able to find all of my files and be able to use those funds. So I've uh, uploaded two of them and I'm just going to go back to the download and I'm going to change it up in here back to TTF because I know that one file was under the TTF and there's my Luna. I'm going to just cut it and come to my designated font file and dropped it in here. Okay, so now that we have our fonts installed, let's make sure that they're available to us in a design space. So we're going to get out to our Krika design space. I'm going to click on a new project. And let's just type in the word hello again. And what I like to do is I like to move my text like a little bit on the bottom, just so that when I change and try to play with the fonts, I can see what is happening with the text easily. So we're going to come to the fonts option and we're going to go to system because system is pulling in all of the fonts that belong directly on your laptop and all of the free fonts or paid for fonts that you are manually installing will always be under the system. If you're clicking on a cut, this is all the fonts that are specifically available to you if you are pay, purchasing them from the Krika directly, and that's why they all have a dollar sign. And all just means that it's a Krika and a system files are together. We're going to go back to system. And to simplify things, you can just type in the name of the font that you want to utilize. So we know that Luna was one of the fonts that we've downloaded. So we're going to select it, and we're going to see what it does to our hello. And it looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at uh, the DK Lemon. So we're going to do DK, and there's a DK Lemon Yellow Sun. And there's our DK Lemon Sun. 
And then now let's make sure that the garden, grow, uh, garden grown is also available to us. So we're going to come here. I'm going to type in garden. And there's our font. Okay. So I'm going to quickly show you a couple of a really good fonts uh, websites to go to. One of the great sites that has a very good uh, choice of a freebies is the uh, design bundle. It has uh, very good dollar deals where you can buy uh, stuff that normally costs two, three, or ten dollars for for a dollar. There is a bit of a catch; you have to go a bit fast, but uh, that doesn't mean that you don't get to score some great deals. And then there is a whole bunch of uh, free designs available to you, and in here you can specify whether you're looking to, uh, you know, what it is that you're looking for, but design bundles has uh, very generous offerings of a really good beautiful fonts and you would follow pretty much very same steps that uh, we had followed when we were on the da font website um, you find what you find what looks good to you and then you download that and proceed to install your TTF or your OTF uh, file extension. Now, next, I want to show you this very useful tool. And I'm going to make sure that I outline all of the links in a tutorial description. Um, this tool is quite amazing. When you get out to the wordmark.it, what it does, it literally pulls in all of the fonts that you have installed on your laptop, on your PC, and it can display a word or phrase for you all at once. So let's say we're going to type in hello sun. We're going to press on the keyboard and it's showing to you how hello sun would be populated in all of the different fonts that you might have downloaded on your laptop. And you can see that some of them are funky and some of them, you know, are quite beautiful. And some of the fonts wouldn't display the word because they, you know, they corrupted or something is missing. Now, last one is we're gonna come back to our download files. And um, just want to point it out to you that now that you had a chance to extract your .ttf file and .otf file, you know, you can proceed and um, delete this folders. One thing to bear in mind is that if the folder had come with a commercial license and you want to be able to sell stuff, then it's probably best that you keep the license. But, um, you know, other than that, if there is anything else in the folder, you really no longer need to keep it. And you can just get rid of that to keep the space available on your laptop. Any questions, make sure to post it in comments.